My name is Valerie. And I don't think I'll live much longer and I wanted to tell someone about my life. I was born in Nottingham in 1985. And I don't remember much of those early years, but I do remember the rain. My grandmother owned a farm in Tuttlebrook and she used to tell me that God was in the rain. I passed my 11 plus and I went to girls grammar. It was at school that I met my first girlfriend. Her name was Sarah. <laughs> it was her wrists. <laughs> they were beautiful. And I thought we would love each other forever. I remember our teacher telling us adolescent phase that people outgrew. And Sarah did. Mm. And I didn't. In 2002 I came out to my parents. <sighs> my father wouldn't look at me. He told me to go away and never come back. And my mother said But I'd only told them the truth. Was that so selfish? Our integrity sells for so little, but it is really all we have. It is the very last inch of us, but within that inch, we are. do with my life. And in 2015 I starred in my film The Salt Flats. It was the most important role of my life, but not because of my career, because that was how I met Ruth. The first time we kissed, I knew I never any other lips but hers. And we moved to a small flat in London together. She grew Scarlet Carsons for me and our window books and our place always smelt of roses. Those were the best years of my life. But America's war grew worse and worse. Eventually came to London. After that there were no more roses. Not for anyone. I remember how the meaning of words began to change. How unfamiliar words like collateral and rendition became frightening when things like Norse fire and the Articles of Allegiance became powerful. I remember how different became dangerous. I still don't understand it. Why they hate us so much. It's only love. Does it scare them? Does it scare politicians, religions, homophobes, governments? <laughs> they took Ruth while she was out buying food. I've never cried so hard in my life. Why are they so frightened of us? They burnt her with cigarette ends until she gave them my name. 
She signed a statement saying I'd seduced her. I didn't blame her. Oh God, I loved her. No, I didn't blame her. It wasn't long until they came for me. However, I know that I am not alone within these cold, damp cells. And I can only hope that my messages to you bring you any sort of comfort, knowing that we share the same fate and the same concrete flaws. My life should end in such a terrible place. But for three years, I had roses and I apologised to no one. And I imagine I shall die here. Every inch of me shall perish. Every inch but one. An inch. It is small and it is fragile, but it is the only thing in the world worth having. We must never lose it or give it away. We must never let them take it from us. I hope that whoever you are, I hope that you escape this place. I hope that the world turns and that things get better and that people can have roses again. But most of all, I hope that you understand what I mean when I tell you that even though I do not know you and even though I may not meet you Thank you.